Vietnam near the border trade point with India and China. It has regional and world-class significant characteristics and ecosystems such as ice park, mountain ranges, evergreen forest and mountain cliff etc. It is known as the highest peak in Southeast Asia with the altitude of 5,881 meters with this rich world-class biodiversity. According to our research, Kakao Prasi has good ecosystem and forest situation. And we also found new species like birds, butterfly, and fish species in the landscape. There are four criteria on natural world heritage lakes like natural beauty, geology, physical, unique necks, and biodiversity. Kakaporosi landscape is matched with the three criteria like natural beauty, physical, unique nooks, and biodiversity. With the suggestion of local and international experts, seven places of the country were promoted to propose as the natural world heritage site. The seven tentative places are Kakaporosi landscape and northern mountain forest complex, Hugang Valley Wildlife Sanctuary, Indoji Wildlife Sanctuary, Namada National Park, Mie Archipelago, Deninari Forest Complex, and Eyari River Corridor. Among them, Kagaborazi landscape has a great potential to be listed in Natural World Heritage Site. Among the seven tentative places, we prioritize three places. Namata National Park, Indoji Wildlife Sanctuary, and Kakaporasi Landscape. But when we conducted field trip to that area, we found out that roads were constructed for the regional development paths through the national park. It showed the weakness of environmental conservation, so we cancelled Namata National Park. Then, we threw Energy Wildlife Sanctuary to propose to UNESCO, National World Heritage Site. There also we see that the gold mining tax in that area damaged the water of the lake. Finally, we selected Kakaporasi landscapes to be leased Natural World Heritage Site. There are 203 Natural World Heritage Sites around the world. The Forest Department targets us to complete nomination dossier not later than September this year. And after getting approval from the Union government, the nomination dossier will be reported to UNESCO in 2018. Then the MITV, Myanmar International Television.